sitting area. It's in an amphitheater style and used by the Sultan and his guests during street festivals such as the Durba. It gives a clear view of the procession activities on the streets. In the heart of Sokoto city, an area has been secluded and wears a slightly different look from that on the major road. A mini market which only comes alive at special periods, especially religious festivals. This has increased the activity in front of the Hubari Shewu Mujadi Dodan Fodio Mosque. A very special part of the jihad movement in Sokoto. Inside what used to be the home of Sheo Danfodio, indigents have found solace and some reside here. However, movement into the main building is very restricted guarded by palace security personnel. It was Shewu's school where he devoted his last days teaching, preaching and writing on spiritual devotion. This made the Hubari appropriate for his final resting place, along with seven other sultans, some of his lieutenants and some members of his family. Little wonder that it's given high regard and used as a place for special prayers and supplication to God. Outside Sokoto State Capital, in Goronyo local government area, a 200 km square area covered with water. This is a major feature of the historic town of Goronyo, which is 120 kilometers from Sokoto town. Goronyo Dam was built in 1984 along River Rima, which is one of the two major rivers, the other being Sokoto from which the state has earned its name. The dam was designed to provide water for irrigation and development of some downstream areas covering over 17,000 hectares. It's also to provide an annual regulated flow of 425 million cubic meters to rice farmers under Fadama. Presently, however, the dam is not as effective as it should be. Only subsistent rice farming is done along the path. Even with this, the people of Goronyo enjoy rice all through the year. <music> Apart from boosting agriculture, Goronyo supplies 80 million cubic meters of water annually to Sokoto, Agungu and burning Kebi. It empties into River Ninja at the point where Sokoto State shares a border with Benue State.
Having the Goronyo Dam so close by now makes phrases such as Nigeria is a great country or Nigeria is a blessed country. They're no longer slogans because it's so close to reality as I hope that what you've seen in Sokoto State and this episode of Travel Guide has also convinced you that truly Nigeria is really great and blessed. Until next time on Travel Guide when we'll bring you a fresh episode of the program in another destination. I'm Amy Thompson. Fun, inspiration, and knowledge. That's what you get from readers, writers, publishers, and the entire book world. Get some interesting reviews, events, interviews, and latest updates from the book world. The Channel's Book Club, inspiring you one page at a time. No. Uh, are you meeting? After I've prepared, pre prepared all this food. It's better if you left now. Come on, let's go. Are you meeting? Oh, man. I'm sorry, Mom. Oh, boy. Oh. Are you meeting? I'm sorry, Mom. An Ordinary Legacy by Sefi Atta. A tale of family. How come? They've gone? Yes, Mom. We've gone. Still journey to them. <laughs> Are you with it? Yes, Mom. Talk to your father. Hmm? Man to man. Family values. I may be sentimental, Jack. But I am not stupid. Yinka, Yinka, please. Yinka, wait. Can we talk for a moment? What about? Did you talk when you were supposed to talk? Eh? Answer me, did you talk? That means you didn't even go lay or lay up on me. I've got children to take care of. Listen, Yinka. All I'm asking is just to stay one more day. You took your father's side. Why can't I take my father's side? Eh? And value. Everybody dies. Everyone is dying. If I should know is dead, my time will come and when it, will, when it comes, I will leave an ordinary legacy. Baba, say I did not marry an ordinary man. I have never had issues with you, either as a father or as a husband. Do you hear me? Never. <laughs> okay, sometimes. <laughs> A tale of corruption and conscience. If you are leaving the country, it is wise to. But sir, in what way? To go where? And tonight? Uh, Chief, are you by any chance thinking of traveling out of the country? Tonight? Because I don't see how that is wise. My father is not. Yes, please. Are you aware of the charges against your son and mine? Don't you think it would be wise for Aya to stay and face the charges instead of running away? I will not be accused of trying to... I have not accused you of anything yet. Look, I am only trying to do what is best for Ayo. So am I. Now, how does Ayo living this country help you? And uh, that brings me to Okoko that he will not be representing Ayo. Why not? Because I will be representing him. Uh -uh. Is I or not man enough to speak for himself? <laughs> He's not the one standing here in the mirror, regard, yeah? <laughs> the Nigerians of our generation haven't really had a voice until now when people like Sefiata have come to the fore. And now we have a, not just a voice, but we have a face. And so you have a play where we go and watch the play and we see ourselves. In fact, we can look at ourselves more deeply because we're, it's not us. So we're dissociated from what's happening. But because it's us, the lessons about our lives and about our society, the legacy we're going to leave, live, justice, corruption, integrity, and the nature of our society, can, you can go to it in a, in, a, in a way that is entertaining as well as revealing. Sefi Atta holds the audience spellbound 
as she touches on matters which are spoken about in the society in a loud silence. And as for internet banking and all that, we are not ready. We are ready, Dad. Of course we are. Look, the only